Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Best of Creations by Stephanie, where we inspire and mentor others as well as design beautiful things for your home. That's what we're doing tonight. So we're going to create something extremely beautiful, simple, quick, easy, and inexpensive. Anyone can do it. It doesn't take any special tools. And by golly, it's available to most of you guys. Um, so, so I brought out one of the Dollar Tree um, candy canes. If you do not have them out, which I'm sure they're probably not out yet. I don't know. Have, have you guys seen these out of the, do they, have they started putting out their candy cane reese frames yet? I'm not sure. I haven't been in a Dollar Tree for a while. I ordered these online. I ordered these online last year by the case. So I had some left over, so I've already got them in stock. Miss Rita and Pearl. So I've actually got, well, this is actually a Michaels ribbon. I've got a Sam's Club ribbon and another Michaels ribbon. And that's what we're doing. It's starting to come out. So it is so super simple. I'm actually going to grab my ribbon holder to do one of these. They're easy, they're quick, they're inexpensive, and I like to use my Sam's Club ribbon. If you if you guys are able to snatch Sam's Club, because these come in a 50-yard roll. Um, so, it doesn't matter which end you start on, however, please know that when you get to the curved end, it starts to become a pain in the tushy because there's a lot of twisting going on. So, I kind of like to start at the bottom end and let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. Not much, not much. So I've got my glue gun heated up. I'm just gonna fold this over the edge, but I'm not gonna take it all the way to the edge of my ribbon. So I have about a half an inch hanging off, maybe even more like three quarters of an inch hanging off. So I'm actually gonna leave that there for just a moment. And, and I'm gonna take a spot to glue and I'm going to adhere that. Mary. All right, so now I'm gonna wrap this around again. So if you can see, I have um, a little opening but the wire frame is about a half an inch down inside of there. Now I'm going to twist the candy cane, not my ribbon, and I'm just going to spiral it up the um, candy cane. Hold the phone. Let me turn that over. The only thing that you really want to do is make sure that your spirals are kind of evenly spaced. That gives it that more uniform look. Now this is where it gets kind of fun is around this edge. That's the only thing, but it's still not complicated. Don't think that you can't do this, guys. So you just have to be a little more cautious around the corners. And that's really all you gotta do. You gotta do a little wiggle in here. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Now, when I get to a certain point and it starts to annoy me, it's not beyond me to take and snip See how that's like trying to curl up? Just cut that puppy off. And then, look, I don't have all the hassle. Just don't cut it off too short. All right, so here on the very end, 
I could have cut that off just a little bit longer, but I can work with this because it's overlapping. But I'm going to take my glue again, and I'm going to fold this over, and we're going to glue that back together, or glue it down to secure it. Guys, I'm telling you, this is so super simple. It's right. All right, so this, this end where I left it overhanging about a half inch, I'm just tucking it in neatly, fold it in towards the frame. And it's all wired ribbon, so it, it folds very, very easy. All right, so there's our candy cane so far. Oh, let me go up a little bit more. All right, but he's kind of blasé right now, right? On right? So it, and it doesn't matter what pattern you use. Like I said, if you guys scored some Sam's ribbon, this, I usually do the two and a half inch ribbon. No, I always use two and a half inch ribbon around the base. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Easy Bow Maker and I am just going to make a two ribbon bow but I'm gonna make some tails on it, about six inch tails. Now this is pretty sheer ribbon, guys. However, so I'm gonna make some four inch loops. However, I'm going to make several because this is a sheer ribbon. I did, I don't even know how many, one, two, three, four loops on the bottom of the red, and I'm gonna do three loops of the snowflake ribbon on top. All right, so we made a cute little bow. I didn't want to go extravagant on the colors. I just wanted something very simple to not take away from the beauty of the ribbon that's on here. But I attached my 22 gauge or 26 gauge wire. So I just placed this about center of the long stem. And if you guys remember, twist the item, not the wire it makes it tighter. Cool. All right, so I brought out um, a couple of buckets of Christmas goodies because I really don't have a whole lot out right now, my full spread, but I knew I had um, some nice snowflakes in here. All right, we could add some snowflakes behind that. I have some picks but that kind of blends in too well. But I have these picks, these came from Hobby Lobby. Still too much of a, they blend in too stinking much. We might just need a, some red balls. Anybody, anybody got red balls? I like those. Okay. So you can add all kinds of embellishment. If you want to introduce another, another color into it, look at that. You can, I've got the um, red poinsettias, but these are Dollar Tree poinsettias. You know, look at how you can add those into this design. Just, okay, so can you see here? I'm going to zoom in. All right, so we're going to take, now I haven't attached the balls yet. I haven't attached anything. This has got a little clip. The only thing I have attached so far is my bow. And also do your shake test. Is it gonna move around? If it does, don't be afraid to come back here and add a spot of glue to help anchor that to your um, frame. But I'm gonna actually use that same spot of glue 
and I'm gonna bring in some color right behind it. So we're just going to cluster those and remember odd numbers are always amazing. That's the rule of thumb. And I'm going to let that dry. Let that set for a minute. I'm not going to use those. So rule of thumb is odd numbers right so we've got an odd number of the ornaments since y'all are making fun of my balls we've got an odd number of the greenery if I had some more greenery right here at my fingertips I would like to add a little bit more but in a smaller so let me see what I've got down below here check that out just by adding a little green, greenery to that. Just a little greenery, and it brings that Christmas look to it, but it's a winter look. So that's one thing that I like about this one, is it, it's not screaming Christmas, it's screaming winter. So if you wanna make it more of an all winter, you know, I, I might wanna take off the ornaments and put the snowflakes in there you know, you could, they have snowflakes in white and they have them in all kinds of different colors. But you could add a snowflake to that very easily and um, be able to um, make it a winter. And I know several people that would prefer having a winter wreath rather than a season specific to Christmas, right? Otherwise, I want to thank you for hanging out and I will see you guys soon.